Hello, everybody. How are you? My name is Matt Metcalf. Uh, I'm here with some DBT skills. I'm going to try to bring your way. Uh, school has begun. And when school begins, the percentage of things that we need from our kiddos and teenagers goes up a lot. So when school's not in progress, process, whatever, um, we don't need as much. It's easier to let things slide. Summer might be a little less contained, and we might constantly be trying to figure out where our kids go. But when school shows up, all of a sudden, we know where our kids are basically going to go. But we start having the conversation of to go to school or not to go to school to turn this in or not to turn this in, to clean this, to not clean this. But parents are going to end up having to interact and talk a lot. So parents have a bit of a problem. They want to have a close relationship. They want to be good, you know. And at the same time, they have to ask for things and they have to continuously try to get things done. And so parents are typically going to fall on one side or the other, and they will become very frustrated. Uh, and they will typically try to do one and ignore the other. And all it ends up doing is launching them into the other one, making their lives super chaotic. So for example, um, it might be very obnoxious to talk about school assignments every evening, boom, boom, boom. And the interaction might be kind of nasty, like, uh, uh, I didn't like that interaction, meh, meh. And so it gets to a point where you don't want to do it. Um, so you don't, so you don't do it. And then the assignments don't get done. Things don't get turned in. Over time, the class starts falling, do, 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 starts going low and low and low and low and low. And then all of a sudden, the poor grades come out or the email from the teacher comes out or whatever. And then the parent who wanted to avoid this day in interaction is now very frustrated having been out of the situation. And then they have to come in and then the same anger, the same conflict that always would have been there is there anyway. So what we're trying to avoid with interpersonal effectiveness skills is we're trying to find ways we're trying to maximize the success that you're going to have in interacting with the adolescent and we want to minimize uh the relationship ruptures and the unnecessary i don't know what we'll call it nastiness whatever um so Oh, how might I how might I look at this? Let's look at um let's look at it this way. If we were to have a parent score of let's just say, let's say you have a, a let's say you have a parenting child relationship score of, you know, a two or something. That means the score is like really low. Like it's out of 10. You have like a two out of 10. So you don't have a very strong relationship. At the same time, adolescents have been known to take a relationship that's not very strong and use the poor relationship as a way to not interact and not communicate. Meanwhile, all of the responsibilities they have from chores to schoolwork to staying out of trouble to keeping household rules, et cetera, is all just going by the wayside as well. So you might have a two out of 10 and there's no one else that necessarily wants that score to go up. In fact, um, your adolescent often is benefiting a lot from the score being so low. So only you and possibly your spouse want that score to go up. The problem is, is that every time you interact with your adolescent, you have to try to get them to do something they don't want you to do. And so um, it's almost like you're destined to fail. And so my answer to this, how do you engage someone in getting them to do something 
while uh while increasing your own score and the answer is through interpersonal effectiveness skills so dbt dialectical behavioral therapy has one module of skills called interpersonal effectiveness and the purpose of interpersonal effectiveness skills is to be able to improve our relationships while trying to get things which is what we're going to talk about today um building relationships while we're interacting which we'll do another day and then building relationships as we uh advocate for ourselves and for our own needs and our own self-respect which is for yet even another day but today we're going to talk about the dear man skill the dear man skill so here's how here's how the dear man skill basically works See if you can see this whiteboard of mine. Okay, perfect. All right. I don't think you're gonna be able to read this. Oh, maybe. I think you can see it. Okay, so we have Dear Man. Uh, so we have our D, we have describe. So we use the Dear Man skill when we need something. This can be, I want you to do this chore. I want you to turn in this work. I want you to blah, 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 whatever. Describing is when you walk up and you just paint the picture. So when you're talking to someone, you're talking to your kiddo, you want to paint all the picture. You want to make the context really known. So let's say you want, uh, let's say you want your adolescent to clean their floor you know to clean their floor in their room then you walk in and you describe you describe by saying what's actually happening what do you see so you want to create the picture so you want to come in you want to be like hey uh son or daughter i see a lot of clothes on the floor i'm seeing a lot of clothes on the floor and you can add on a little bit too you can be like and this is bringing on a feeling of anxiety for me. I'm feeling this way. I'm seeing this. Basically, I'm seeing this. I'm feeling this. I'm thinking that. This is when you you want to describe the situation by really bringing it on. The E stands for express. So expressing is when you say just exactly what you want. This would be like, there's a lot of clothes on the ground and... I need you to pick them up and put them in the hamper. So there you go. Pick up the clothes, put them in the hamper. It's very exact what we need. The A is for assert. So it's stay on topic. Don't break eye contact. Stay in the moment. Adolescents have been known to change the subject. You know, um, dad, can we get Chinese food? Stop. Just be like, hang on. We're talking about this right now. Stay on topic. There you go. Um, reinforce or reward. So I'll use both of them, reward or reinforce. We always want to talk about what it, what's in it for them in order for them, for them to do it. So yeah, please, uh, take your clothes, put them in the hamper. The sooner you do this, the sooner we can focus on other things like Chinese food. So make it, what is the incentive for them to do it? The M is mindful. Mindful means that when we are asking for something, uh, be aware of what's going on right in the moment. Maybe observe how it appears someone else is feeling uh, until you're done, uh, until it's time to ask. While you're talking, maybe get a feel for how you feel like you might be feeling or how you feel like the other person is feeling. Basically, read the room, be aware. The A stands for appear confident. And appear confident is exactly that. It's okay that you're asking someone to clean their floor. Um, it's okay that you as a parent are asking for something to change and something to be better. 
it's okay that your adolescent is not happy with you because that is how this works. There is no, there is no parenting that involves no conflict. It is an impossibility. And so here we are, there it is. And then the N of course is for negotiate. Is it important for me to have the floors clean now? Or is it important for me to have the floors clean within the next couple hours? I'm really okay with the next hour. So let's just get this done the next hour. Do I have to do it now? You don't have to do it right now, but I'd rather you do it now. And yeah, you just go back and forth until you get something. I usually tell adolescents only try to negotiate about three times. And then after that, just put it down. Um, but yeah. So anyway, that's it. That's Dear Man. Uh, thank you for being a part of this and I look forward to making another video. Thank you.